My father uh, was the son of a very remarkable Welshman. I think he probably started off very poor. He was a self-made man. His name was John Davis. Um, but there are so many J. Davises and Joneses in Wales that they, um, they, they're, the, 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 they're giving a little name to stand out. And by the time my father was born, uh, I think there were 11 or 13 live births in the family. He, by the way, was the shortest of all the children. Uh, he was six foot, six foot half an inch, I think, just over six foot. Um, and, and the male and female, he was the shortest. Um, my grandfather was given the nickname Quar, which means quarry because he owned some slate quarries in South Wales. He virtually started with nothing and turned himself into a, a master builder. He, he built about 1,200 houses in the center of a little place called Ammonford. Uh, he built, uh, he had farms. He had farms because he, he had a carter company. Uh, in other words, uh, he was a haulier. Uh, my father grew up on one farm where they had 95 horses, uh, lots of pit ponies and stuff like that. He would buy and sell horses as well, but he carried uh, on, on, on wagons in those days, uh, stuff to and fro. He also had uh, one or two small coal mines in North Wales. But anyway, John Quar was a formidable man. He was big, I think about six foot four, six foot five, which was uncommonly big in those days in Wales. He was not necessarily a nice man. My father, um, at the age of 11, was working in the school holidays under the tuition of a bricklayer. My grandfather was uh, building uh, a, a row of terraced houses for miners. And my father's job at the age of 11, was to lay the bricks that went up the column dividing an inside wall from an inside wall. Uh, and he labored all day to do it, very carefully. And his father came in at the end of the day, five o'clock, and looked at it and went, there's a bond not right there, he said. And he took the stick and pushed the whole wall down. Start again. Hard man, John Quarr. <laughs>